what happy people i'm back with another video and today i wanted to play around with making my own nail charms as you all can see i am a big fan of using nail charms in my designs if, if you all have been following me for a while um, you will see that i love to add a charm and a little bit of bling to most of my sets and so instead of always going out and purchasing nail charms i wanted to see about making my own um so i did get these um silicone molds from amazon and I'm going to show you all how I at least attempt to make my own uh, DIY nail charms and stuff. So, yeah, I just want to first show you all all the different designs that it comes with. So this one has like um, some flowers and some leaves on it. Um, this one here has a heart with a rose in the middle, which is really cool. I want to try to do something where I do like two colors for this one. Um, this one has like a crown and some more flowers. Um, this one right here has, looks like some uh, seashells and flowers, okay. And then the last one here is some hearts, which are really, really pretty. So before we get into this tutorial, I know y'all, my nails, they cute, right? So I do have a tutorial on both of these looks. Um, this right here is a poly gel set that I did, and I just love this butterfly charm on here. I'm just absolutely in love with this set. And then over here, this is just uh, full cover tips with some gel polish on top. If you all want details on how I got these looks, those videos will be linked in the description down below. But yeah, let's go ahead and hop into this tutorial. I thought it'd be cool to go ahead and just start with the hearts since those are like really simple and easy to do. And I have here, this is like a crochet needle that I got from Walmart. And I originally got it so that I could like clean my cuticle area when I was doing dip powder nails. Um, but I think I'm gonna just go ahead and try to use it to see if it'd be efficient for helping me do my DIY charms. And mainly it's because, you know, it's pointing so I can get into those crevices of helping to spread that gel polish out. I do have some small like makeup cotton swabs. Um, I saw them on Sandra's channel and um, they seem like they worked really well for her. So I did order those from Shein, but I'm waiting on those to come in. So for now, I'm just gonna use this, um, but they're disp the one she got is disposable. And also on her channel, she has some really great tips on how to do DIY nail charms. She also likes to put charms on her sets. And so she's made a few and they turned out absolutely stunning. And so I wanted to try to make some too. Um, and then who else did I watch? I also watched Jenny G make some DIY nail charms, which I thought was pretty cool. And um, she uses the molds. They both have two different methods, so I'm gonna give them both a try. I'm gonna be using a combination of some of my really old Sally Hansen gel polishes. I really don't get a lot of use out of these, and so I figured I could try to put them in use making some nail charms. I specifically tried to grab all the glitters that I had so that um, I could um, put them in use. I have a few beetle polishes here. These are just out because I haven't had a chance to put them back away to where they belong, but I have those. And then I also have a couple of the Young Nails gel polishes here, so I'm gonna try to go through and use these. Let's hop right on into this. So I remember this Scarlet, the Scarlet from Young Nails came in my mystery box and I remember it being an absolutely stunning red. You all see this red? So I'm gonna attempt to make a red heart, you guys. So that's gonna be the first thing that I try to do. I'm gonna try the method that Sandra did, which I thought was pretty effective. Um, what she did was she took a little bit of the gel polish and put it inside of the mold and then spread it around and she just kind of cures her charms in thin layers. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go in and try that method first. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the gel polish and put it on the inside of the mold. Like so. Oh wait, I didn't even fill all the way in, okay. Okay, so once that's all good, I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for um, 60 seconds, I guess. So that's what it's looking like after it's been cured for 30, I just went ahead and did 30 seconds. So now I'm gonna go in with my next layer. And this time I'm gonna give it a more generous layer here. So that's been cured for another 60, that's been cured for 60 seconds. What I'm gonna do too is while I'm building that up, I'm gonna go in with these little tiny hearts and try to make a few of those because I don't think I don't think it's gonna take as long to do these tiny ones. So I'm gonna try to do some different glitters in there while I continue to build this one up. So I'm going to take this beautiful 
kind of shimmery color here. This is uh, Lady Luster from Sally Hansen. So I'm gonna take this little shimmer color here and put that inside one of these small hearts. Then I'm also gonna do this purple color here. This is called Purple Prisms. And it's like a really pretty, like glittery purple. Okay, like that. So I'm gonna go in with that one on the other little tiny heart. And just put a drop in there. And then these two other smaller ones, I'm gonna take High Society. This is a really pretty, like glittery blue color. Okay. I'll put that in here. And then for the last one here, I have this black heart that I want to do, which is like this black um, color from Sally Hansen. It's called Glisten Up. And then I am going to take a little bit more of this red and just do one more layer here. And then I'm going to cure all of this for 120 seconds, so for two minutes. Okay, so this is what they look like. I cured this for a total of four minutes. I just wanted to make sure it was fully cured since I did a little bit of a thicker heart. So I wanna take these out and see what they look like. Oh, cool, you guys. Look at this. Oh, wow. I should've chose a different color for this one. But wow. Oh, cool. Look, you guys. I have a little black heart. That's pretty nifty. Okay. So let me see what the other ones look like. Wow, I like this, okay. So this is what the purple glittery heart looks like. Wow. Also have this beautiful pink orange iridescent heart. It's really pretty, you see that? And then next I have this blue heart that's glittery. This is probably my favorite one so far, that's really cute. This, this is really easy to do though. And I feel like it's cured all the way through. So I'm just gonna go ahead and see what this heart is looking like. I'm being a little impatient. I just wanna see what the progress is looking like so far. Wow. Look at that, you guys. That is so easy. Oh my gosh. Now this makes me wonder why my pants for charms. <laughs> that is too easy to do, okay? Wow. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and top coat this heart. Okay. And I'm gonna use a no wipe top coat too, just so that, um, you know, I don't have to wipe it off afterwards. Kind of get around the edges too. So I'm gonna hold the heart upside down for 10 seconds just to kind of let it level. And then I'm gonna cure it for 60 seconds. Yeah, that's really cool. I like this. That was really easy to do, like ridiculously easy. So I think I like this method because I don't have to mix anything with top coat. All right, so this is how the heart is looking. Y'all, that is a beautiful heart, okay? And it's not sticky because I used a no white top coat. That is really cool. So you're telling me we can make our own nail charms, okay? Like, why am I paying for charms anymore? Like, wow, look at this. This is beautiful. And I can't believe I just made this. That's too easy to do. Well, I don't have a, a, a nail that's not so busy to, to kind of demonstrate on, but yeah. So you put it on the nail. Look how cute that is. Wow. I like this method, okay. I'm gonna be making a lot more nail charms. Like this was, this is too easy not to do you guys. Like yeah, I'm definitely gonna be making my own nail charms more often because this was too easy to do. Like I literally just put some gel polish inside of a mold and then I cured it and put a top coat on it and that was it. So I like that a lot, okay. Another thing you'll probably wanna do too is like, um, top coat the inside of the heart because it still probably has that sticky inhibition layer to it. So I'm gonna go through and do that really quick. And what you can do is you can go through and file and shape this once it's been fully top coated. Next I'm gonna go in and try to make some of these cute little flowers here. And I'm gonna do a couple different colors at once. Um, 
I'm gonna go in with this cute blue from uh, Beatles here. I'm gonna make like a blue flower. I haven't even needed to use that little tool that I pulled out. That's nice. I feel like I, I can get it pretty well with just using the, um, the brush from the gel polish. Next, I'm gonna go in with this white color from Beatles and just make a white flower. We got this cool purple from Young Nails. I'm gonna go in and make a purple flower. And then, let's see what else. We have some yellow here. I'm gonna go in and make a few yellow flowers. These are like smaller ones. And then, what else do I wanna do? And then we have this rose quartz color. I'll go in with this one and make a few of those. This French mink. Hey y'all, this is really easy to do and fun. It's so cool because you can really just customize it to however you want it to be, you know? Um, that's good. And then I think I want to make a tiny white flower too. So that's what I'll do. And what's cool is you can make a lot of them at once. So these are all filled in. So I'm going to just cure this for four minutes and I'll be right back. While that's curing, let's play around with something else. Um, let's see. Let's do a crown. Ooh, a butterfly. I kinda wanna do a purple butterfly. So let's do a purple butterfly. And then let's do a white butterfly. I wanna use this shimmer pink again from Sally Hansen to do this really pretty pink butterfly. I think that's gonna be so pretty. And then I do want a crown, but I want gold for my crown. So let me see if I can go find a gold really quick. So my camera cut out on me while I finished this up, but I did go ahead and cure these off camera and I was adding in some more. Um, one thing I want to start to do here is maybe top coat them while they're still in this thing here before I actually pop them out. So that's what I'm gonna go through and do just to save me a little bit of extra work here. So I am pretty low on this top coat. This is my Beatles top coat. I'm pretty much running out of this and I'm just trying to like use the rest of it up. So yeah, I'm gonna go through top coat all of these and then let's pop them out and get the reveal y'all. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the other ones that I did, the flowers and the, the big and small flowers. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the lamp and then I'm gonna do the same thing for these that I did. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure these here. Okay, so these ones just finished curing. So let's take these out and see what they look like. Tray here, so that you all can kind of get a better look at them because, you know, it's kind of hard to see. So let's pop this out. So this here is the butterfly. Wow, look at this. Oh my goodness. The butterfly looks amazing. Wow. Look at this, you guys. Are you telling me I just created this charm? Like, this is so cool. So that's the butterfly. And then obviously I can go through and like, you know, fine tune it by picking off the sides or whatever, but that's pretty. So that's one of the butterflies here. We got, let's take a look at this one here. Okay. That's pretty. Look okay. at It's really pretty. Then we have this purple one here. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Y'all, these turned out so good. This is too easy to do, you guys. Like, we need to start making our own charms, okay? And stop giving these companies all our money. So let's pull these crowns out. I really wanted a nice gold crown, but I didn't feel like going to get that gold gel polish. But yeah, look at this. That is so cute. I think I'm gonna just take them all out and then we can just look at them up close inside of this thing here. Wow, you guys, so look at these. I just made my own charms. Oh my goodness. So we got a couple of crowns here. This one is that rose quartz color. This was like a gun metallic one. This one's that really pretty kind of pinkish color. I love this butterfly right here. That's really cute. 
Um, we also got this flowers. I really like this blue flower right here that, that I made. Yeah, these all turned out so good, y'all. This is too easy, like, not to do, okay? Loving these. I do need to top coat them, so I need to figure out a, a system for how I want to top coat them. So I actually have this little piece of paper that I kept from like an old sticker. I didn't want to throw it away. I didn't know what it would be useful for, but now I know what it's useful for. I'm gonna go through and just line all of the charms up here and then um, top coat them. And then I can just dispose of this little cardboard thingy when I'm done. And it's gonna be important to use a no wipe top coat. That way you don't have to worry about um, and trying to wipe off an inhibition layer. And then also too, if you wanted to, I'm thinking you could probably you probably could just wipe off the charms with alcohol and not even have to top coat them if you wanted to. So yeah, y'all, I gotta play around with a couple of different colors here. These are so pretty. Okay, so the only issue you're gonna run into is the charm sticking to the brush, but that is a minor thing for me. So I'm gonna just finish that up here. Okay, so I finished top coating all of these. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the lamp for 60 seconds. And another tip here is it's gonna be helpful to use some tweezers, maybe to just hold them down while you top coat it. That way they're not like moving all over the place. But yeah, how cute. Okay, so these were top coated already on the back. So now I'm gonna pop these out so we can take a look at them. And then we are gonna top coat those as well. Now this is so much fun. I'm really liking doing these DIY nail charms. Like, I feel like I should have been doing this sooner. And then I have so many gel polishes too, so you know, I'll be able to make pretty much any color scheme that I want. And then, you know, if there's maybe a charm that I don't have and that I wish I had, you know, I'd be able to just like use the mold and make it myself. Like this is like really cool. Yeah, the detail is there. So is that how these companies make the charms? They just use these molds and then we pay for it? Like this, the only thing is that it takes time to do, but I mean, I can make the time, you know? Wow, look at these. These turned out so cute. So we have here the purple metallic flower. We have that mint green kind of flower. We got two white ones here. This one, I think I over flooded it. So next, so whenever you're filling the molds up, you wanna make sure you don't overflow it. Just fill it right up to the line. We got that mink, mink, that rich mink um, flower. We have that kind of rosy metallic, that's that rose quartz. And then this, this yellow flower here. And it's crazy because this yellow flower here would go great with this set that I have on. Like this set here. But yeah, imagine me having that on here. Like how cute is that? That is just too cute. I love this. This is so much fun. Okay, so this just finished drawing here. So, okay, yeah. So now it's all good to go. There's no sticky layer at the top anymore. So, yeah, y'all. So I am liking this heck of making your own nail charms. Like, I wish I had of like discovered this sooner or started playing around with this sooner, but I'm definitely gonna be trying to incorporate um, creating my own nail charms more in my looks because y'all, like, why not? Like, look at these. Like, they turned out so good. Like, look how cute. So y'all, that was too easy and too much fun. So I'm definitely gonna be pulling out more of my gel polish colors and making some more nail charms. Like that is just too easy not to be doing. Like there's no prep work, it's super easy. The only thing you need is gel polishes, a mold and a lamp. Like, yeah, that's awesome. So the few tips I would give is to make sure you cure it all the way through. So what I would do is if I filled up a charm to its full capacity, I would just do a full cure for four minutes. Um, and then if if it's a, a chunkier charm, like something like this heart that I did, I would probably cure this for six full minutes if I was trying to do it like in one in one go. But I did this one in sections and so it's fully cured. The other thing is, is when you're filling up the mold, I recommend you only going up to the line. So you see here how I went over with these. Um, so I feel like when you go over, it kind of creates a round back for the charm. And so then it's not gonna be as easy to get on the nail but I mean overall like that's something you can fix with like a drill or a file or something like that but just to save yourself extra time and effort later on but overall I had a lot of fun making these charms you guys like oh my goodness like I'm gonna be doing this way more I need to incorporate more of these DIY charms into sets because yeah this was just so much fun so yeah I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial let me know if you all want to see a part two of this I still have some other modes that I didn't even get a chance to crack into um, like these seashells and then also these flowers 
uh, these roses with the hearts on top. So I'll need to play around with those next time. But yeah, I had a lot of fun making these charms. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I would love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.